Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the CyberArk Pen 14.x version installation. Right now, CyberArk has released self-hosted for version 14.0 for privilege cloud, it's 14.1. We're going to download it, those 14.0 components, and we're going to install it in our lab environment as quick as we can. So we're going to install Vault, CPM, PVWA, and PSM. But we're probably going to ignore other parts to reduce the installation time. So at the end of the video, we will have a full functional pen core solution in our lab environment. So here is how my lab looks like. It's similar like what I did for 13.x version. We will have gateway to internet. That's our router. Um, domain controller with DNS installed. I have lab domain 51 sec test.dev 192.168.111.11. I'm going to install a vault on 21, CPM and PVWA on 23, PSM on 25. Because of the video length, I could probably going to separate it in two videos to complete it. At the end of those two videos, you should be able to get the full functional core pen solution from CyberArk in your home lab environment. So now, let's start it. I just want to make it clear again, the installation steps I'm working on in this video is only for my home lab testing. The purpose is to bring core pen solution from CyberArk up as fast as I can. For any production related installation, I strongly suggest that you go through all documents, system requirements, prerequisites, hardening steps. Go through them one by one just before you start to think about how to install in your production environment. And we strongly suggest you to get a consultant or CyberArk to help you to do that. The purpose is to make sure I can have a home lab to test in my CyberArk products at home. It doesn't reflect real recommended production installation steps at all. So in my home lab, I have total five virtual machines running in this VMware workstation. I have a router to go to internet. I have a domain controller, also Vault 1, just new installation 2019 server, another server 2019 server for PVWA CPN, and one for the PSM. Those servers are already up and running from my previous installation at for my home lab. I also already downloaded the installation files on a machine and extracted all files to a local folder as well. So that probably saved me 30 minutes to an hour to get all those files ready. Now let's start with Vault 1. So this is our Vault. I already installed a Virtual C++ redistributable for Virtual Studio. So those two, if you don't have it, you will get a notification when you start to install the Vault server. The installation steps actually is very simple. Just run as an administrator. I put the two steps here. There's no more than that. It's very simple. Install server and then you can install client. That's all for the Vault server installation. So now let's quickly go through this. This is a typical Vault installation wizard. Mostly just say yes, yes, yes. This is standard ROM, of course. I don't want to change the folder. Always keep the same. So you need a license file to be copied from the desired folder to the installation folder. That's something you need to prepare as well. Let's browse to your license key file. So those I already put into
now you can configure remote control agent so we just skip that part I don't need a remote control agent this is test environment uh, do you need to install a distributed vault internal communication now we can skip that uh, make sure don't harden the machine I don't want that so that pretty much everything you need to configure pretty simple easy usually you can get it done probably 10 minutes once you have everything ready now it's important part you need to remember your master password and your administrator password now it will ask you to restart the computer you can say no since we may need to verify some installation and check in some setup or install apply with our client So we, we installed the private Arc server and before we reboot we're going to install private Arc client. Same step, run as administrator. Keep everything default, next, next, until complete. You can add the server. That's okay. Now you can restart your computer. Now we have pretty much done the vault installation. We have private Arc server. You can see server is up. And we do have private R client you can connect to. Well, it's mostly empty. Let's three default system save here. The most important thing you want to see your users in the group. You may want to add another admin tool. So you have a backup vault that means that will help you in your future configuration the vault installation has completed so we are gonna go to next step to install pvwa in my list lab installation i put pvwa and cpm into one server you can separate it depending on your architecture on your cyber arc deployment for the lab doesn't matter so you can put all in one server as well so i will put the pvwa cpn together psm separated since we don't need it most of the time i already downloaded pvwa installation file and the cpn installation file system has been updated so now we're gonna go into the pvwa installation first step you probably wanted to run this prerequisite from administrator mode let's go to open windows powershell as administrator now let's just wait
Okay, the installation has been completed. So let's now go to next step. Install a PVWA using the installation wizard. Which you can find from your extracted folder set up run as administrator. default destination folder no change next you can use in the cyborg you can use in the LDAP default we have cyborg as well We enter our vault address 192.168.111.21 Default port, no change Use the TOS This is our PVWA address Next, we need to enter the password for vault administrator And now checking the connection to the server. Okay, the installation has been completed. Let's set finish. We can uh, give it a try to see if we can access to it. You're gonna use in the URL, we copy it from the installation wizard. It may take a while for you to get this interface, but eventually you will get here so now you can use administrator account to log in which we set up during the uh, vault installation perfect we logged in that's pretty much everything for pwa our last part of installation is for cpm installation so what we need to do is uh, we run CPM pre-installation script after that just using a wizard install CPM simple go to the installation automation folder open PowerShell as administrator you will see this CPM pre-installation script This shouldn't take long. I will say yes to all. It's completed. Go back to the extracted folder, set up file, run as administrator. Next, yes, put the company name. There's no policy manager was previously installed. This is the first one in our lab environment. We do need to provide our vault address. Just make sure your firewall on the vault allow 1858. So you do need to provide the password for your administrator. Then they're gonna create the vault environment.
perfect it's installation completed one thing you can check is from the services you should be able to see the CPN services has been running and schedule task is running central policy manager scanner is running so all those services are running right now login again you can see the web portal CPM so that's pretty much everything for this video my next video is gonna be install PSM and make some testing and rotating some password or those will be in next video but let me know if you have any questions for installation thank you for watching and i hope you like it if you liked it give me a thumb up subscribe my channel to support me see you in my next video